Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have a horizontally symmetrical grid today. We also have a couple of small shaded sections in the bottom here. Very interesting. Alright, let's start with one across. Yaks? I don't think they're talking about the animal, the yak. This has to be about talking, right? Maybe it could be gabs? Let's see if we can build off of that. Cajun stew. And it's pointing us to an answer here. I wonder if this is going to be a revealer of some kind. I think the Cajun stew should be gumbo, right? Pop culture site created as a supplement to the onion. Pop culture site. Um... I'm not sure if I know what this is. Arrive at, ahead of. Could that be beat to? You beat someone to somewhere? Parked oneself? Is that gonna be sat? Park yourself in that seat there. And it has to be sat in the past tense because the clue is asking parked oneself in the past tense. Okay, eye layer containing the iris. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. This is kind of like a biological term. I think this is called the urea, if I'm not mistaken. Aspiring docs exam. I think that's going to be the MCAT. I think it's like medical college admissions test. Sandwich known by its initials. That's going to be the BLT. The version I like is the tempeh bacon, lettuce, and tomato. One up. Hmm, is that gonna be outdo? What does that give us on this down here? Oh, you know what? This should be the AV club. Yeah, so I had this incorrect. It's the UVA. Okay. This is definitely AV club. It looks like this is going to be pointing to this answer also. This is definitely going to be a revealer. Okay, main drag of the French Quarter. Main drag. I think that's called Bourbon Street, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. That's very interesting. These are both kind of like things associated with Louisiana. I wonder if we have a Louisiana theme today. Let's keep going here. Screenwriter Efren, that's going to be Nora Efren. Man, she's had quite the renaissance on the puzzles this week. I think that's her third time showing up. Okay, not taking sides. I think that should be neutral. Prepare as a king cake. I've never heard of a king cake before, but it seems like it could be bake, right? Baseball family name. That's going to be Alu. That's an important one to know for crosswords. There's been a ton of baseball players with the last name Alu, and they show up on the crossword all the time. I think I saw that this was the theme answer too. Gulf Coast Waterway. Yeah, that's kind of near Louisiana also, right? The Gulf Coast. Um, what is this going to be though? I don't know. Oh, is it going to be the Bayou? I think we must have a Louisiana theme today. Steps dwelling? Um, I guess they're talking about the steps in Asia. Could that be a yurt? It's like a circular kind of tent structure. Actor Epps, that's Omar Epps. Annapolis Institution. That's gonna be Maryland. Is that like the US Naval Academy? I wanna say that's probably what it is. Reunion attendees informally. Yeah, that could be alums. Yeah, I guess that's an informal pluralization of alumni. Okay, so what is this going to be? Imam's holy book. Yeah, that should be the Quran. So I think this is US Naval Academy. Former Italian money. I believe this is the Lira. Um, with an E? I think it can be with an A. I think there's a difference in the spelling when it's plural, but I'm gonna guess it's the E here. Yay me? These quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. Hmm. 
Is it going to be like, I did it? That's too long. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Lives in. When you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue, that means that that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and still make sense. So I think this could probably be resides in. Yeah. So maybe our equivalent phrase here could be I rule. <laughs> this person obviously has no self-esteem issues. Okay. St. Charles or Esplanade. Another theme answer. I wonder if that's going to be an avenue? I'm not sure about that, but they kind of sound like plausible names for avenues. Maybe in New Orleans, yeah. Uprising could be a revolt. 2010 to 13 HBO series set shortly after Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, I remember this one. I actually haven't seen it yet, but I heard it was pretty good. I think it was called Treme, right? Yeah, and that's another theme answer. So we have nom here, nom de plume. Yeah, that's French, more French. It means pen name. Okay, Campbell of Scream, that's Nev Campbell. Never Have I Blank, Midi Kaling Netflix series. I don't know if I've heard of this one. It looks like it should be Never Have I Ever. Simpson family member who says, get bent. <laughs> Didn't we have get bent as an entry last week? That's so funny. Yeah, that is the rapscallion Bart Simpson. So we have Ben here. Actor Platt of Dear Evan Hansen. Ben Platt? Yeah, I'm not familiar with this person, but that looks good. All right, let's see if we can do some downs here. Empty as a purse. Is that gonna be dump out? You unceremoniously dump out the contents of your purse. Yeah. Okay, hang on a sec in texts. Um, is that gonna be B right there? BRT, I think I've seen that. Is this a theme answer too? Celebration with king cakes. Oh, king cakes must be a thing to do with Mardi Gras, right? Oh, and we spelled the lira incorrectly. Whoops. Yeah, that's always kind of a gamble. Okay. Singer Anita of the swing era. Hmm. Is it Anita O'Day? I'm only like 50-50 on that one. Let's see if we can confirm that. Eccentric. Hmm. I don't know. Evening in ads. That should be night, the informal spelling. Some NCOs, some non-commissioned officers. And because we have an abbreviation in the clue, that means our answer needs to be abbreviated as well. Maybe that could be the abbreviation for sergeants. Yeah, so this is yes. Absolutely, another equivalent phrase. That sounds good. Attempt, that should be try, right? So this is tatty? That seems wrong. It seems like this should be batty for eccentric, right? And maybe this could be be right back. Yeah, that's a better answer. Okay, so let's try and do this section next. Chicks chirp, could that be a peep? A cute little peep, yeah. Plastic pipe material in brief. I know that's called PVC. I don't know what it stands for. It's gotta be some kind of chemical name. Blank sauce, sushi roll topper. Um, I don't know, is it eel? I'm not sure about that one. No power. And this question mark indicates that we're dealing with a wordplay clue. With wordplay clues, you have to look for a punny answer. So it's not gonna be about a blackout. Um, I wonder if this is going to be the power to say no. That could be a veto, right? That's a pretty punny answer there. What nephology is the study of? Nephology. Could it be clouds? I don't know that for sure. It just looks like it fits pretty nicely. Yeah. Cajun shellfish over rice dish. Well, I'm definitely not gonna know this one. Let's see if we can get some crossing help here. 
Um, is this going to be New Orleans somehow? Let's see if we can get the first couple of letters at least. Actress Messing. I think that's Deborah, isn't it? She was on Will and Grace. Blank Lanka. That should be Sri Lanka. Okay, so we have the first two letters of the answer that all of these theme answers so far have been pointing to. Let's take a look at this one finally. Nickname for New Orleans, celebrated by the answers to the starred clues and suggested by the shaded squares. Interesting. I think a nickname for New Orleans is the Big Easy, isn't it? Yeah. The Big Easy, celebrated by the answers to the starred clues and suggested by the shaded squares. So I wonder if we're going to have easy in both of these shaded squares here. Is that what's going to happen here? Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ice House. I guess that could be an igloo. So this is another theme answer. Blank square. Translation of view carré. Um, I have no idea. Is it old square maybe? Blank gray tea. Yeah, that should be Earl gray tea. Stared in wonder. I guess it could be gaped maybe. Let's see if that's right. Once around the track is a lap. Mine find is or. Yeah, so it looks like it's old square. Excellent, okay. Is this Sherry O'Terry? No. <laughs> it's gonna be the plural for womb. That's so funny. Wombs are going to be uteri, plural. It has to be this funny Latin plural because they're asking for the plural in the clue. So we still don't know this along down. Let's see if we can start building on these acrosses here. Psyched about? Hmm. I'm not sure. Psyched about. It almost seems like it should end in four. Like excited for. Hmm. Later? An equivalent phrase. That could be see ya. Another very casual way to say goodbye. Maybe we can build off of Sia here. Popeye's olive, that's olive oil with a Y. Wait a minute, this is two E's, so this is not going to be easy. Hmm. The big easy. I wonder if these are going to be Z's? That would leave us with the ZZL though, that seems really weird. Maybe this will be all E's and this will be all Z's. The big EZ. That would make sense. Okay, so a fencing event. That could be Epe. I guess that's named after the sword that they use in that event. Ship's backbone. Yeah, that could be the keel. There we go. So we have a big E here, if you imagine that all of these E's get merged together. Twilight time. That could be dusk. Wrapper most blank. That's most deaf. Oh man, yeah, we didn't have a prayer of getting this one. So this is going to be up four? I guess it has to be, right? Psyched about if you're up for something, you're excited to do it. Yeah, okay. Bird in a gaggle? Oh my god, it happened for us. That is a goose, we know that one for sure. Uno plus uno? That's going to be dos, right, in Spanish? Queenly. I guess that could be royal. Foe of Austin Powers. That was Dr. Evil. Singer Celine. That's Celine Dion. She's French. Canadian, not Creole French. Yeah. Varieties. I wonder if this is going to be ilks. Ilk is a way of saying a type or a kind. Yeah. So we have koi, colorful pond fish. Yes, that's right. And SNL, NBC hit since 75. That's good too. Okay, so is this our last theme answer? Music heard at Preservation Hall. I guess it's going to be some kind of live music. Oh, and these have to be Z's, right? If this is going to be a big EZ. 
Yeah, so that should be live jazz, right? Very nice, yeah. And what is this gonna be? Sodas pop? And this is another wordplay clue. I think the pun here is just that the clue kind of sounds like the term soda pop, but they're actually asking for the popping sensation you get with soda, which is going to be the fizz, right? We need those two Zs at the end. Nice, okay, we have our big EZ. NYC Airport, that's JFK. It's abbreviated because NYC is abbreviated. Harlem Renaissance writer Locke. I don't know if I'm familiar with this writer. I put the sing in single singer. Um, I don't know if I know this one either. Is it Lizzo? That's a singer, right? Wrong answer. And these brackets around the clue mean that either the answer or the clue is going to be nonverbal, as in something you wouldn't say out loud. So it's going to be something like a sound or an action you would do or something you might write down. Um, but because we have kind of a verbal phrase in the clue, that means the nonverbal part of this bracketed pair is going to be our answer. And I think this is probably going to be a buzzer sound. Yeah, like a wrong answer buzzer. So that could maybe be like bzzzt like that. Yeah, let's see if that's right. Shoelace or muscle problem. Yeah, that could be a knot. And then what does that leave us with here? Women's blank. I guess that's gonna be women's lib. So that would leave us with Harlem Renaissance writer Elaine Locke. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of this person. Yeah, hopefully the goose can fill us in on exactly who Elaine Locke is. All right, well, let's throw that L in there and see if that'll do it for this Big Easy themed Tuesday puzzle. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 25 minutes. That's not too bad. Maybe a little on the slow side, but we were just kind of taking it easy in the Big Easy today. Wow, look at all of these theme answers. The theme density today is just fantastic. We had a big EZ as kind of our final theme element. And then we had all of these highlighted answers kind of paying tribute to the big EZ. We had Gumbo, Bayou, Avenue. I guess that's St. Charles or Esplanade Avenue. We had the show Treme, Bourbon Street, Mardi Gras, Etouffee, I've never heard of that before. We had Old Square, and then we have Live Jazz. Yeah, that's great. What a fun tribute puzzle. We even had a couple of really good wordplay clues. This is a perfect Tuesday level bit of wordplay. No power for veto. And then we had this kind of funny sodas pop for fizz. And the cherry on top of everything. There's even a goose in the Big Easy today. And that makes this goose very happy. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed partying down in the Big Easy with me today. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.